and action. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for joining us here at Don't Write Back Show. I'm here with my co-hosts, Doug and Michael. Hello. How's it going? How y'all doing today? Fantastic. It's been a minute. It's been uh, like three weeks <laughs> since we've all been in the same room together. Yep. Doing doing pretty good myself. Stuffing things. Stuffing things is what I'm always up to. So, you know me. That's been working. Doing Harry Potter stuff and uh, NCAA 14 on the Xbox. That's about all I've done with my life. He's been playing those damn Vigi games. The Vigi games. Give me that damn Vigi game. <laughs> I've been kind of doing the same thing, yeah, doing Harry Potter and NCAA <laughs> with him. And then on my spare time, I've done some Mario, some Zelda, and recently Final Fantasy. Yep. Ooh. Number nine. Number nine. His favorite. The best there is. After eight. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not true. It's damn true. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> woo! Kurt Angle did the woo, too. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Sure. All right, boys. What do we have on the agenda? Well, you didn't ask Mike what he was Michael, up to. Michael, what have you been up to? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I left you out. I have been up to quite a bit of things, but none of them fun. Uh, I'm you, uh, you want to show the viewers your new uh, your newfound love? His newfound love? Yeah. Are you talking about my bald head? Your bald head? Oh, I, well, look at that beautiful thing. Oh. Woo! Yeah, I just got too tired of uh, the thinning hair that was falling out. And... So are you going to be like the guy that never lets it grow in ever again? You're just going to always keep it shaved? I'm too lazy for that, but I will, I will for the most part, keep it shaved. Keep it shaved. It'll probably grow out a couple times here and there. Yeah. Is it itchy? No. No? No, not really. It's weird whenever you shave it, though. Like, for me, because I've already got spots that are bold, those spots feel like really, really slick. <laughs> so, I also have another question. Yes. When you're in the shower, do you use... Uh, you use shampoo still, or do you just? I use soap just to just to clean it. So. So. These are the tough questions nobody wants to ask. Yes. Yeah. Dove for men. Dove for men. Yes. I have to. Use that's, what I usually, that's, that's what I usually. That's that's what I use for my body wash. Is the Dove. It smells really. Good. The new one, the newer ones. I get the sandalwood. It's the mm -hmm. the one I like. It smells great. I need to take another trip to. Uh, Bath and body, though. Yeah, that's Boomer's favorite place. One of. When do you want to go? <laughs> See? Anytime. <laughs> Whenever they're doing their biannual sale. It's that's when I like to go. They have sales, and that's what I like about it. Yeah. Yep. The best sales are, I think, in July and January, but I could be wrong. Because they do one every six months where it's like, buy two, get five free or something <laughs> yeah. outrageous. Yeah, they're just trying to get rid of their inventory, pretty much. It's yeah. an insane deal to pass on. Yeah. It's hard to pass on it. I buy so much lotion that I'll never use in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, at your old house, you got me hooked on that uh, shit and that... Uh, the foaming the soap. The foaming soap. Yep. The, uh, yeah, the teak wood. The teak wood. Yeah. Yes. I love it. I love that one. I haven't used it in a while. I get the wild cherry from, from yeah, Walmart now. It's good too. So that's, the teak wood, I don't know what that's It's the best favorite. one, yeah. That's my absolute favorite. Yeah, I'm a little obsessed over it. I think I I get a teak wood um either body wash or shampoo every once in a while. Oh. I kinda I gotta if it's shampoo I gotta go back and forth though. That's not gonna be on there by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> what list was he doing again? Uh, his will be the worst characters. Oh. Uh, but, uh, so. The worst song. Yeah, so for Christmas, I'm gonna get you one of those, uh, shavers that, like, is a handheld one like that. And it just, like, makes it slick. Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's, he's gonna be the native Michael Jordan. Figure out what I can do to make it all shiny. <laughs> 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 I like it. 
I'm embracing it. Yeah, well, you know, that's what my dad did. He held on as long as he could, and then finally he was just like, that's it, I'm done. He shaved it off. He's never grown it out since. Yeah, I remember he had the mohawk. Yeah, he did that for a while. Every once in a while, he'll he'll grow in a mohawk, but that's it. And then, then I'm like, nah, I'm gonna get like the the two piece wig, the two pay. <laughs> that's different colors. Well, <laughs> dark gray on top, light gray in the back. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, you know, when we do our uh, Halloween video, which we're doing Harry Potter this year. Was it? That's like three weeks out before we start filming it. Yeah, I can. I. My costume comes with the wig, so there you go. There we go. There we go. I'm already Just set. pop it right on. Yep. Pop, lock, and drop it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do we got planned for today? Doug, you want to talk about yours? Your board? Well, so as it's been said at least three times already, Harry Potter is a, a big thing, especially in my household. <laughs> So anywhere, any, anywhere I'm present, he bought a new I bought wand. another wand. Did you? Yeah, it's over behind the computer, but they have... It looks suspiciously like... <laughs> <laughs> like a soldering iron. Like a soldering iron. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so they they have like a Harry Potter... Well, it was a sidekick at work, and it's got just Harry's wand mm -hmm. for like seven bucks. So I bought another one because, you know... Yeah. Three wands is not enough. So don't worry, mine will be coming over when we do our. Awesome. I'll need to keep. I'm gonna buy the one that actually like shoots out the little fireballs, That's like the paper. Yeah. I'm gonna get that. Somebody suggested I get it and then shoot it at Boomer and not tell him what that it does that, <laughs> and see what he does. I like it. So always be expecting that now. That's fine. Until it happens. Just know it's coming, Richard. Maybe not today. Or the next day, or the next day, but someday, somehow. Maybe. Damn. I thought he was gonna say I'll make it all right, but not right now. <laughs> anyway, Harry Potter's a big deal for me. It's half my personality. I was, I was about to say definitely. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so the subject of today's pod is Harry Potter. We got a. Time. Yep. We're gonna keep talking about it until you guys like it. <laughs> that's that's the plan. We're just gonna cram it down your yeah. throat. <laughs> it's like Alabama in that run game when they were actually a dominant team for about seven years. <laughs> and if. <laughs> and, if, and if you're an Alabama fan, fuck you, don't watch this anyway. <laughs> we don't need the views that bad. You've got bigger things to worry about. <laughs> losing to Texas. <laughs> anyway, I got that off the rails pretty quick. Uh, so we're, we're going to do a few lists today and, and debates. So we've, we've all talked about our favorites to least favorites as far as the movies go. <laughs> And, uh, for example, I always say that Goblet of Fire is the worst one, and it's Michael's favorite. So what we're going to do today is we're all going to debate the, the movies, and we have to agree on what order we're going to put them in. From worst to first, baby. Worst to first. So... Which one do y'all want to start with? You want to start at the top? Mark start, at the bottom. start at the bottom. Deathly Hallows Part 2. You did not like it. I loved it. That is one of my favorites. I So, movie-wise, I hated a lot of things compared to the books. So, we're, so number eight is... We're, the worst is number eight. No, I... Yeah, yeah, but I just asked if you wanted to start at, like, Sorcerer's Stone, if you wanted to start at... Deathly oh, Hallows. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean which. I would have started with God with a fire if you said start with the worst. Oh, I was just sitting there. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Do you want to start with the first movie or the eighth movie? Oh, uh, we'll start with first. Yeah. First okay. Movie. Sorcerer's Stone. The good and the bad. What do you? What do you think? What's the good? What do y'all like about it? Well, it started a it really great out. franchise. Yeah. Um. I just hate like their their kids when you watch it so like it feels weird I'm watching it yeah it's so because i watch a lot of interviews and a lot of stuff 
basically, if you think about it, man, there's like a hundred and something kids in that movie. Yeah. And like they were all our age and you know the attention span we had when we were 10 yeah. and 11 and like they were not good actors they all they just pulled people off the streets the fred and george like skipped school to go audition <laughs> and got the part so it's hard to watch because their acting wasn't very good and like there was a lot of times where the director was struggling to get them to focus but they're still good things about the movie. Yeah, good things. Uh, I liked I liked Ron. Now he was kind of dumb, but kind of awesome at the same time. Yeah. His chess skills were badass. <laughs> best, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. Best game of chess they've ever seen. I don't know about that. Um, I, I mean, I'm trying to think of other like good parts. All right, good, good, good things about the movie. Uh, good the, things to say. I don't have a lot of good the things to say. The towards the end, end was, was cool. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it was good for its time because that movie came out like what 2001. 2000, I think so. Yeah. So like the the CGI was very good for most of the things. On some some of the CGI stuff. Oh, like fluffy. Like yeah. the troll. And the troll, yeah, okay. yeah. They're they're pretty rough. The chess set was surprisingly really good. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, I wish they would have included some stuff from the books. Like, uh, and it may not. I, the potion you, you're talking about the potion was one thing. Yeah, the, they left out like two or three of the, um, the trials to get to the stone. And then they also, um, whenever Ron is teaching Harry how to play wizard's chess, like in the common room, which they don't put in the movie at all, and I understand cutting time constraints. It was just funny though, because like he's telling Harry's trying to tell his piece where to go, and it's like a pawn. He's like, "Don't send me." He's like, uh, "He's like send that pawn. He's expendable." So like their little chess sets like talk to them and try to shout advice. <laughs> uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. They left out the flute completely, which is in the video games. They put it in the games. Um, Hagrid gifts Harry a flute, wooden flute that he carved, and that's how they actually get past Fluffy. In the movie, they're just like with the harp that uh, Quirrell already used. So, um, I loved Richard Harris's Dumbledore. I was sad when he passed and they had to switch. I like the switch. You liked Michael Gambit? He just wasn't Dumbledore. Like, as somebody that read the books. And, like, you see the meme all the time where Michael Gambit's like, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Kicks over a chair. Like, in the book, it's like, Dumbledore asks calmly. <laughs> so, wait, I didn't get that right, but... So, yeah, there's, there's good things. Um... That was such a short book that I felt like they could have included a lot more detail into the movie well, than they did. What was your favorite part of the movie? Favorite part of the movie? Yeah. God, you would ask that. I am going to ask that because this determines where I want to put it. Favorite part? Probably, the, honestly, probably the chess match is probably my favorite part. Um, the troll scene is good, but the CGI is not. Hermione, move! Yeah, it's more of a, like, just some of the quotes in there. Yeah. You know, like, ew, troll bogeys. <laughs> and, uh... I think that, they could go back and, like, retouch up the CGI on that. Yeah. Do that eventually. No, because they're going to make the TV show. Yeah, when the TV show... They're going to get it right then, because they got the CGI and the budget to do it. Yep. Uh, and then like the he's like not me not Hermione you that, I did that earlier he was like not me not, not you Hermione, Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> sums up my fandom right there so I've rambled enough about Sorcerer's Stone what do you think um for me honestly like if I was gonna rank it anywhere on there I would probably go middle of the pack probably number Five or four. Okay. What do you think? I was honestly leaning towards five. Honestly. I thought he was going to say seven or eight. <laughs> uh, you know, I was thinking more like six, but I will go up to five. That, 
I think it's a fair Mid- spot. Yeah. I mean, it started Middle. it all. It's I, the thing, like I said, the, and Boomer said it at the very beginning, the hardest part is... God, I can't spell sorcerer. Um, well, okay. HP1? I could have. Uh, anyway, he said that the... Uh, just the, the fact that we're so much older now and going back and watching yeah. that, it's it's hard. Like I don't enjoy watching the first two very much. Um, I just watch them because I'm a freaking OCD completionist and I have to watch them all in order. Yeah, yeah. No. This year alone, he's probably watched it like 25 times. At least. In the last like two months. Yeah. I cycle it on repeat on my days off. I've been watching football stuff lately, though. So I like it on uh, Peacock because they have like the extended versions, not the yes, versions, yes. Like, more scenes. Yeah. I've noticed that like there are some that just like, like I don't recognize this part. Yeah, Even like, I do that, and I've watched it twenty five times in no, two months. Like the scene, <laughs> so I watched it the other day. The scene where uh, they're writing down, or when they're in Snape's class for the first time, he's writing down everything. Mm-hmm. When then Snape pulls up that chair and like face to face with him and starts yeah. talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, whenever when I saw that the other day, I was like, I don't remember this from the theatrical version. And I've, I or, swore I've watched it like four or five times. Or uh, Dudley putting on, like, trying on his smeltings uniform before mm-hmm. they go to school. And he's got the stick and the hat and the stripe. Mm-hmm. Like, that wasn't in the theatrical version mm-hmm. where she's dying. Harry's, Dudley's old clothes gray for Harry's uniform. Yeah. So... Which I thought that was cool. I when I first saw the extended version, I was like, they didn't advertise. It was on uh, ABC Family, and they didn't advertise it. I was like, what? That's like I don't remember that. <laughs> I was like that. I th- thought that was in the books. So I was blowing my mind. So anyway, let's move on to Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of I Secrets. I love this movie. You love this movie. It's hard for me to get into anymore because of how old you know we are and. How old that movie was, but I agree with you. What is your favorite thing from this movie? The fight with the basilisk at the end. Okay. That was pretty pretty legit. Okay, who? What is your? What's your favorite character that's not one of the main? We'll say one of the main four. I'm gonna keep Jenny in that four since she marries Harry. Filch, because he was ready to kill a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he Fair was enough. Ready to kill a fucking kid over a kid. And true. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. My answer is going to surprise you. I was going to go with Fox. Dang, I, I thought he was going to say Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought that Phoenix was fucking the shit. Dude, Fox Especially is the shit. Especially in like, uh, the uh, Order of Azkaban. Order, wait, wait, what? Uh, Order of the Phoenix? Order of the Phoenix, yeah. I was like, what? Uh, Order of the Phoenix, where uh, Dumbledore does like this, and then the yeah. and then Fox comes. I thought that was pretty sweet. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, my favorite character from the second movie is Gilderoy Lockhart. <laughs> Cornish pixies. Cool. Freshly caught Cornish pixies. Oh, we clipped the fuck out of that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> love Gilderoy. He's so stupid. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, I so I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter theory videos, and um, they were talking about how this is their opinion. But do you know why Dumbledore hired Lockhart that year? Especially when he could have just hired Snape, who was actually competent enough to teach the subject. You know why they picked Lockhart? Want to take a guess? Because he's an idiot? Uh, Kind of. So, their theory is the reason he hired Lockhart. There's two reasons. One, he knew that Voldemort had a curse on the position. That's why no teacher lasts more than a year. So, he knew it was only going to be for a year that they would have him. And he wanted to bring him in to teach Harry how not to be like don't let fame go to your head then turn into a moron like you need to you need to stay humble so it was a good like show him what not to do good theory so so that makes a lot of sense i like that so anyway that's probably that's my favorite character Uh, my favorite part didn't even make the movie 
my favorite part of the uh, the prisoner of, or uh, chamber of secrets was the Valentine's Day, and they didn't they didn't put that in. Oh yeah. Yeah. They he hires a bunch of. Uh, uh, and they were they weren't they were like little cupids or like little gnomes or whatever. Yeah. They were going around the uh, school and singing songs to different people and like. Oh, you've told me this. Yeah, Jenny Jenny paid uh, paid one of them to go sing a song to Harry, and he tries to get away because he knows what's about to happen, and they like uh, try to tackle him or whatever, and they rip his bag so he can't get away. <laughs> <laughs> and they just start singing to him in front of everybody. That was great. And I wish they would have showed uh, Arthur Weasley punching Lucius in the in the bookstore because they actually like knock over a bunch of shelves and get into an actual fight in the book. You know, you you could probably shed some light on this. One thing I always wondered about that movie and book is whenever they travel by uh, flu powder, mm -hmm. why no one goes after Harry? I what? guess I guess because they weren't in the book, they weren't a hundred percent sure what he actually said. Yeah. So they didn't know what to s actually say to get to the same place. Yeah, it's weird because in the movie he knows it, Arthur knows exactly what he said. Yeah. Because he repeats it. Diagonally. Yeah. Yeah. But also, how does diagonally get you to Nocturne Alley? So mm -hmm. that and and I think Molly kind of cleared that up in the movie because she's like, we hoped you had only want, gone one grate too far. So it's like a great system, and like. He just passed the Diagon Alley Great and went one further, which would have been a Nocturne Alley. Yeah, I think that's I think that's how they tried to explain it. That, um, I watched that on Peacock the other day too, and there was an extended scene on that part that I didn't. Oh yeah, when he's when is he it, hides an Iron Maiden. Yeah, and Draco and, and he yeah. Yeah, he's looking at the hand and hand of glory and stuff. He's yeah. like, "Don't touch anything." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was an extended scene for sure. So yeah, I was like, I don't remember this from the theatrical version. Yeah. So how how do y'all feel about this one? Where would you put it? I like this one better than Sorcerer's Stone. I might have to suggest bumping Sorcerer's Stone down. I was kind of thinking the same thing. You want to go down to six where I was feeling? Yeah, yeah I go six and then. Probably, I, I think five. five. For chamber? For chamber. Yeah. I think that's a fair spot. Because I liked it better than I liked the Sorcerer's Stone. I don't know about you. It's oh, I agree. Yeah. So far, we're we're kind of in the same ballpark. There will be parks where we disagree. Oh, yeah. It's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> this next one might be, a, might be the start of it. It is actually the start of it. So, now we're going to get into one of my personal favorites, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Mm -hmm. That's because it, it, yeah, it uh, finally shows his favorite character. Yep. Peter Pettigrew. One of my favorite characters. <laughs> Peter. I absolutely love this movie. Yep. I actually really enjoy it. It is one of my top... Three. So, what's your favorite part of this movie? Uh, favorite part? Yes. Um, you know, I'm trying to think. Probably the bug art part is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. With the Snape in the oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the uh, Neville's grandma's Neville. clothes. Yeah, like that part's really good. I also like uh, when uh, Harry blows his aunt up. Yeah, or aunt Marge. Aunt, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> I'm just aunt. Yeah, Aunt Marge. You know, really, like, I'm, I'm blanking on, like, the good, the memorable scenes. Like, I didn't like Sirius as much as most people did. I, I don't dislike Sirius, but I just... I remember when the movie came out, everybody's like, Oh, Sirius is the best. Oh, my gosh. Everybody loved Sirius. And I was just like, eh. I also that I thought that used to be his favorite character, one of his favorite characters. Oh, really? I liked him. I liked Gary Oldman a lot. Yeah. So that helped. Uh, nah, uh, Lupin is my favorite character. Mm -hmm. He is one of my like top three characters in the whole series. Interesting. Sad that he died. Yeah. Um, I just so I really just liked a lot of scenes like this. I liked a lot of the quiet scenes in that movie where it's just like him and Harry talking about his broomstick or about his parents. Um, I like the little. 
they they didn't do it near the way the book did, but the part with the um, when he's walking around at night, following the map, but he gets caught by Snape. Yep. I, I like that scene. It's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, that was nothing like the book. They changed a lot. They made it more comical. Yeah. So. Want to add anything to it, or are we just gonna kind of keep uh, it sweet? And sh- we can keep it short unless you got something to add. I also like Hermione punching Draco in the face. That was pretty oh, good too. That part was badass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, uh, that movie is just. I liked all of it. All the yeah. way through, it was just really, really well rounded. All the way through. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So, for you guys, I don't know if this is too high, but. Personally, for me, this is probably either a one or a two. I'm okay with with a two, but I also think we're going to rearrange this a little at the end. And I think what's going to end up happening is it's going to end up getting bumped to one at some, uh, by the end of this. <laughs> but for now, I would like to go two. Let's I was going to say three. Three. So one, two, and three. So one. let's go. Let's go three. Go three. Okay. Go three. It's gonna get bumped but up at least to two. At the one at, by the end. Favorites. Prisoner of Oz. Come on. Goblet of Fire. That is next. <laughs> I know how Doug truly feels about this movie. Yeah. Here's where it gets interesting. This movie was shit. I fucking hated it. It should have been the best movie made. That's my opinion. It did not do the book justice. justice. I'm glad you at least give me that. I will agree with you on that. I love this movie a lot. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, no, I will completely agree with you. The book is is better. I know we're going to struggle to place this one. Because if it was me, I'd put it at eight, and if it's you, I think you'd put it at one or two. And I don't know where Boomer falls on this yet, but I'm gonna give you a couple things I hate about this movie. Okay. Before we get into it, because don't get me wrong, there are things I like. I love the weird sisters, the music. Uh, I, I can't remember what song they're ripping off, but I they definitely are ripping off like an old British song, British rock song. Um, but I love the Weird Sisters. Um, the dragon stuff was freaking cool. Yes. Yeah. Like, loved that. All that was awesome. Especially, like, his scene with the dragon was probably my one of my favorite parts. Um, the ending was fine. Uh, I didn't like... He's back. He's back. <laughs> my boy. My <laughs> son. <laughs> Uh, I I love I love parts of this movie. It's not all bad. I will say that's probably one of the best acting in the movie was the my boy part. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't go. Like you overdid it. Yeah, I felt like yeah, you way overdid it. Um, that's the point. You want to overdo it. You want to overshoot. <laughs> not necessarily. You want to get it right. It's my favorite part. I'm not saying hey, but I believe oh, it. My boy, that sucks. But like, so well, let me ask you this question: How would y'all act in that point? Oh, I would be, I would be very upset. But. I wouldn't have probably been able to audibly speak. I would have just screamed out. Yeah. Like not a, I wouldn't be like my boy. I'd just be like ah, I'm <laughs> crying or whatever, you know. Yeah. So, things I hate about this movie. Let's start with Barty Crouch. Junior, <laughs> I don't like his tongue twitch thing. <laughs> the scene in the pensive, whenever he figures out who that is, yes. and I honestly think they just did the twitch thing because that way he can make the connection from his vision and the pensive thing. I think that's the only reason they put it in the movie, just to like, here you go, dummy. Let's lay it out so everybody can figure it out. <laughs> I think that was the point. Because that wasn't a, anything to do with the book. The twi- I like the Twitch. I ain't gonna lie. I just thought it was just not. It was no. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't like that. The pensive scene where he f- like figures out who that is, mm-hmm. and there he 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 acts like he's just hiding in the background. But in the actual book, he's actually being put on trial in that scene, mm-hmm. in the pensive. And he's like crying and whining. He's like, "I didn't do it, Dad. Don't." 
don't send me there. Mom, don't let him do that. Like, that, he was like crying like a little boy, a little, little baby the whole time. And like they made him look so much tougher and cool in the, in the thing getting attacked right there. So I hated that. Um, my biggest peeve with this whole movie was how much they left out of the stupid uh, maze. Yeah. They like basically just didn't. like You got Spooky Wind and Victor Crumb. Yeah, they they left yeah. a shitload out. Um, he like him and they got attacked by a acromantula, a spider. Yeah. But in the uh, book, pretty sure uh, Cedric got attacked by a blast ended screw, which they don't even put the screws in the movie, which yeah. was another thing. Um, he got attacked by one of those. That's why he was hurt. Um, Floor got attacked by Crumb, and then. They knock out Crumb, and I think they send up Red Sparks to get him pulled out. And then uh, they, they just glossed over it. There's a Sphinx that should have been in there, and that was like my thing I was most excited for. And th I think that's what really ruined it for me, was I wanted the Sphinx that told the riddle. And they were just like, I don't want to spend the money to CGI a Sphinx in this maze. Yeah, they took that away from you. They robbed you of that. Yeah, because Hermione's the Riddle Master. She's the one that figures out all the brain stuff. Yeah. And, like, this was Harry's one time. He got the shine and figure something out. <laughs> so, guess not. <laughs> I guess fuck me. And then the other thing that really tips the scale for me and why I hate it, was we already talked about it a minute ago, was uh, Michael Gambon's overly aggressive performance as Dumbledore at the beginning of the movie. Oh. <laughs> Did you put your name in the couple of fire? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it starts flipping tables and shit. So this and, movie, all, all throughout, there was a lot of overacting, huh? Yeah. There's just a lot of, yeah, just a lot of things that just set me off. I can watch it now just fine, and I'm like, there is a level of enjoyment to the movie, uh, but and then dissing on Neville is a pretty funny part, but I just yeah I'm just not a just, just can't can't get behind it. You can't get with it. But watch the TV show is gonna do it right. Watch him do the TV show completely opposite of what he wants. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking up again. Story of my life. <laughs> Let me down twice. <laughs> But uh, at that point, he might give up Harry Potter for life. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, never. Never gonna so, up. I need y'all to debate on this and not me. I want your opinion. What What? What do you want to what place you, it? What did you like about this movie, Richard? I already know where I'm gonna put it. I just need y'all to debate it. All right, tell me where you want to put it. I'm so, gonna tell you until y'all are done debating. Well, I know Doug wants to put it at eight. Where Where do you want to put it, Michael? I will compromise and give you number four. Mm. I will compromise and put it at four. Really? We're gonna have a we're gonna have a couple more big debates coming soon. <laughs> well, I was gonna put it at seven. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> he was gonna put it at two. <laughs> I wanted it at one. <laughs> All right. How about this? How about we bump Chamber of Secrets up to four and put Goblet of Fire at five? Deal. For now. Deal. There is no deal here. <laughs> Do you like Chamber of Secrets more than Goblet of Fire? He does. <laughs> hey, we're going to put it at seven. <laughs> or do you want it at four? You get hey, well, this. Well, if that's he the case, then we get the bump of stone up and bump it down to six. Well, I ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing that. I know him. <laughs> so we put in chamber at four and goblet at five, or are we put in chamber, leaving chamber and putting goblet at four. It don't matter. Help decide. Okay. Well, I'm, amongst yourselves. I'm I want to see some blood bath here. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Okay, chamber of secrets. I'm bumping to four. Goblet. We'll put at five. And this doesn't accurately represent any of our lists, by the way. <laughs> no, we're just kind of bullshitting it. <laughs> nice attitude, Richard. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Professor bullshit degree. 
I think they didn't search Sasquatches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Order of the Phoenix. I hate this movie. I knew we were getting here. <laughs> This movie sucks. This is one of my all-time favorite Harry Potter movies. I will say this. The other night, whenever I was in Branson, Warren saw Harry Potter was on, so he turned it because he knows I like Harry Potter. So, <laughs> they, it was a marathon of it. On I can't remember which channel it was on. Probably Freeform. But. So it was... Uh, Oddly enough, I think it was like sci-fi or something. Oh, I forgot sci-fi it was, does have it. It was there really, now. really weird. It was like some back-to-school thing. Ah. Anyway, they just played it all night through. And the one that I saw the most was Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> and I didn't hate it as, as much. As much as you did back then? Yeah. So, uh, when it came out on DVD, I rented it from Reezers. Don't kill Seth. And uh, I recorded it onto a VHS. I did I just did the same thing. And, and I played it back on right I so so that one was the first Harry Potter movie that if you left the DVD on, it play all the way through and then it would go back to the menu for like a few minutes. Five like like maybe twenty seconds and then it would start the movie again. So I just let it play through three times. So I because it's like a two hour movie. So it was like a six or eight hour VHS tape. So I ran it through three times without stopping. <laughs> and then I I would sit there and like I have like two TVs. I play video games on one and I would just watch that VHS on the other. So I'd watch it three times and it would shut off and rewind and I'd start it again. <laughs> so I was watching that movie like six times a day easily. I loved it. And then we went on a, a trip. I think it was when we went to Disney in high school and we stopped at a random gas station in the middle of the night and it was on like the dvd rack for like 15 bucks or something because gas stations are overpriced so like i i actually my copy that i own came from a random gas station because <laughs> i didn't have it yet i needed to upgrade from the vhs it was getting wore out pretty bad <laughs> so <laughs> boomers used to wear it out in vhs tapes <laughs> So what's your favorite? Wait a minute. What what thing do you like about this movie? Is there anything you like about this movie? You know, I actually like quite a bit about it. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm watching him draw. But not enough to hate it. <laughs> not enough to not hate it. I don't. I don't actually hate this movie. I just say that to give you a hard time. Fair. But, but no. Um, like I said, I watched it. it. It was actually the one I watched the most. And uh, there's a lot more action in it than I remembered. Because I remembered it just being so long and just drawn out. And... Fair you, enough. What are you drawing? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry. I'm distracted. What, what was your favorite part of this movie, Doug? Uh, you know... <sighs> kill Cedric. <laughs> I, I liked all of the... Um... Dumbledore's army stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. The more I watch it now, the more I get annoyed with Harry and his like shitty, angry attitude. <laughs> I understand why he has that attitude right. because of the book, but it, it doesn't annoy me any less. I like like so anything in the rumor requirement. I enjoyed like those scenes. Um, I hate any scene in a Harry Potter movie where Harry kisses somebody because it just looks awkward and bad. Yeah. His kiss with Cho and his kiss with Ginny were both just weird. <laughs> He's a shitty kisser. Back then, I guess he was. I don't know. It was just awkward. Wasn't wasn't an experienced actor in that department, I guess. Did so. He do, uh, full frontal in a play once. He did. I don't know what play it is. Never saw it, but he's probably got it on a, a VHS. <laughs> it's all worn out. I got the <laughs> I got the poster hanging up in my room. <laughs> it went sock in the corner. <laughs> I think he's just standing. On <laughs> <laughs> I did watch the Weird Al movie a few weeks ago did you? that he was in. I forgot he did it. Yep, it was it was a trip, dude. That was a trip. 
Uh, my I love those things, and then my f other favorite part of that movie is like when uh, Fred and George leave Hogwarts, yep. fly out. So I enjoyed that. And then throw the in the book, they make a portable swamp that um, all the other teachers know how to get rid of, but Umbridge doesn't because she's not smart enough. And they all refuse to help her get rid of it because they they have to yeah they have to have her permission to do anything that's not related to their subject. Like they can't talk to students about anything that's not related to the subject they teach. Yep. So they're like, oh, that's not my department. That looks like a curse. Well, mm -hmm. I guess that's you. <laughs> so they just they just leave it. Did you get annoyed with all the decrees? I. I did. We're gonna get into that in a in the next list, but um, uh, I already know who number one is. Mm, she's up there. <laughs> Easy number one. Yeah. The one person that everybody hates more than Voldemort. I don't hate Voldemort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> know where your allegiance lies. But anyway. That's, that's kind of like my two big things that I enjoyed about the movie. There are some stuff I didn't like. I don't like Cho. No. I didn't like the anger issues. Doug has anger issues. That's he was he basically so Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, pretty much. I like Anakin Skywalker. Alright, so where would you put this movie? One, two, seven, or eight. I feel like two is just too high for me, but I agree. I feel like seven and eight's a little low, but low. we're also getting into the meat of the series, so <laughs> it's kind of. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll put it at number two. 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 I'll do it. I'll put it at number two. Would y'all rather put Prisoner of Azkaban above it? Nope. Okay. We'll do that. Then. He's like, whatever moves us along faster. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm salty about the the last one we did. The Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Moving it above chamber? That's <laughs> putting it at seven. Her. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a terrible movie. I enjoyed all the Harry Potter movies. It's just the second worst one. <laughs> it's just one of the worst movies. <laughs> To be fair, though, you like it more than I did, and I was willing to, <laughs> and I was willing to move it up instead of leave it at eight. <laughs> All right, here comes the next one. Boomer's gonna get salty about Half Blood Prince. Half Blood Prince. I really enjoyed. He it. loves this movie. I really enjoyed it. He but. talks about this being like every time we bring this up, he's like, "I really like that movie. I really like that movie." It's the first Harry Potter movie I bought. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Not a big fan. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Too much comedy for me. But that's because of Wallenby. <laughs> I I do like this stuff. I, I do like most of the stuff with Ron in this movie. I'll give yes. you that. So, Ronald Ronald really shines. Runel Waslib. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he gets a spell check wand from his brothers from their joke shop, and the charm starts wearing off. So he's like doing his homework with it. And it's like misspelling all of his words. So he does like this whole freaking essay for Snape of all teachers. And then Hermione points out that it's spelling all his words wrong. And he's like, wait, what? And she's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure your name's not Runal Waslib. <laughs> so, and, and that's what it wrote inside his, uh, his potions book. Because <laughs> in, the, in the book, he's like, when uh, Snape tells him to go get his books and bring them back after he attacked Draco, which is another awesome part of that movie. I like the fight scene. Uh, he runs in and he cuts the cover off of Ron's book and the cover off of his book and swaps them. And he takes, um, he takes the one with Ron's cover and... Uh, or maybe this way doesn't. I don't know. Either way, he takes he takes the book with Ron's cover on it, and he hands it to Snape, and he opens it up, and he's like, "This is your book." And he's like, "Yes." He's like, "Then why does it say Runel Waslib on it?" And he's like, "That's my nickname." 
And he's like, what? And he's like, you don't know what a nickname is? I know what a nickname is, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the stupidest thing, but hilarious. Um, I was sad that Dumbledore died in this movie, but, you know, knew it was coming. Yeah. Um, you would have been sadder if it was the right Dumbledore? Yes. Very much so. I will say in this movie, he did a much better job and he had a much more. Um, he was a much better actor for that movie. Much better yeah, of that movie, yeah. Because Dumbledore needed to look a little stronger in the fifth and sixth movies. Mm-hmm. If he just wouldn't have, like, shit the bed and gobbled a fire, I wouldn't have had a problem with him. <laughs> but, but here we are. <laughs> I'm thinking we need a bump goblin of fire down. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are salty as fuck. <laughs> no, that was the shot at Dumbledore, not so much the movie. No, I always wanted to put it at seven, but <laughs> no, no, I'm well aware of where you wanted to put. <laughs> it may get bumped down, but we'll see. So where where do you want to put Half Blood Prince? I'm just gonna say at seven. Well, uh, those being the three that are open, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> what do you think, Michael? You know what? <laughs> it can't be number one. <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling generous. You could bump God Little Fire to seven and give him number five. No, no, no. Leave I'm it. feeling generous. Leave it. Leave it. And Doug, I will chop your hand off. No, I'm putting Half Blood Prince at seven because you know, <laughs> fuck that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we already know where this is gonna go. <laughs> part one is going to eight, or part two is going at eight. Well, that's the debate. Which one's the better movie? Yep. Which one is the better movie? I think the part two is the better. Movie. I was gonna have. Um, I was going to have Half Blood Prince at probably seven anyway, and I was going to have Golf with a Fire at eight. <laughs> that was, that, that's my personal list. I was actually going to put, uh, um, I, I wanted, uh, Half Blood Prince at four. Yeah, one, one, two, and three are going to be about right for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe not in that specific order, but we're getting there. So you think. Uh, part two is the better movie. I do. Do you think part two is the better movie, or do you like part one more? There's a couple things I really hate about part two. You but know, I, I'm gonna have to say part two is the better. I agree. Some things I hate about it, um, the the way Voldemort dies at the end. Yeah. I know they did it for a theatrical effect, but I, I've heard him talk about this yeah. a gazillion times. Yeah, I talked about it last week. I just like I just wish sure that we talked about it on stream. Probably I just wish he would have just died and fell over like a normal person. But the best part of either of those movies you all wanna you wanna tell them what it is? Oh, it's one of your favorite things. Or it's said by your favorite person. Not my daughter, you bitch. <laughs> that is pretty funny. That was fu- that was like the, one of the most She's epic. Not line. my daughter, you bitch. One of the most epic lines of the whole she series. Fucking like, <laughs> just like blows her up and shit. And pretty sweet. Deathly Hallows. A pot. A two. Now. Now's the part where we can try and revise. Nope, let's leave it as is. <laughs> Boomer's done. Because I think we're going to do these on a separate video. I agree. That's fine. We're, we're just going to stick with this list tonight, and then we'll tackle these in another time. But for now... This is the current list. I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom in on... Uh, on there or not, but I'm going to try. You can make a graphic and display it here. Oh, yeah. I probably could do that. You see? Here's number one, two, all the way across. Or I won't do that at all, but we'll, you'll, you guys will find out. There will be something right here. Right there. There will be a picture of Michael's boobies. Right all over there. 
So anyway, so we got number one's Deathly Hallows Part Two. Number two is Order of the Phoenix. Three is Prisoner of Azkaban. Four is the Chamber of Secrets. Five is the Goblet of Fire. Six is the Sorcerer's Stone. Seven is the Half Blood Prince. And eight is the Deathly Hallows Part One. Do you want to make any revisions? No. Boomer says no. We're leaving it as is. I would like to make one revision. What do you want, Michael? I would like to. Your revision is the nine. We all have to be in agreement. Well, Boomer's just going to say no to everything. <laughs> I would like not to true. move Prisoner of Azkaban up in order of the Phoenix down one. So swap those two? Swap those two. How do you feel about that, Richard? I would rather Order of the Phoenix go to number one and Deathly Hallows go to two. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been against me. I don't know what to deal with this. I don't either. He's usually not against me. No, he's usually just against me the whole time. <laughs> he's very anti Mike today. <laughs> it blows my mind. Well, I'm trying to give you the, the swap there on the Order of the Phoenix. But it's going up. That doesn't help me. He's like, he's trying to get Prisoner of Azkaban Prisoner of Azkaban up. stays at three. <laughs> I mean, I okay, so here's, here's, here's my compromise to you. <laughs> All right. Y'all can agree to this. We move Order of the Phoenix to one, Prisoner of Azkaban to two, Michael's not agreeing to three. Uh, even as much as I love Order of the Phoenix, I don't know that I could do that. <laughs> <sighs> I want to keep it the way it is. Okay, let's keep it the way it is. Uh, okay. I got my final say so. But. <laughs> Is that all this was about? This is all this yeah, was about. But unofficially speaking, Michael, I agreed with you. I would have moved Prisoner of Azkaban to two. Thank you, Dad. Like I said, those are my top... Th those are probably really my top three of the series. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, this isn't a bad list at all. And I would have... I mean, I even would have been okay putting Order of Phoenix at one, but probably wouldn't agree with it. I, I, I like it at two. I probably like Prisoner of Azkaban at one. <laughs> and I like I probably like Deathly House at three. <laughs> I think if it would have been a little more fast paced, uh well part two is fairly fast paced. Part one was really drawn out. It was. It was. And even though it actually has more meat to the story, it was just like they left a lot of action packed stuff out and put a lot of like the traveling in. You know what kind of bummed me out through a lot of it was in the last few books, granted they were good, it bummed me out that we lost Quidditch. Yeah. We did. Oh. Because a lot of the Quidditch footage was like some of my favorite. That was the other thing that I hated about Couple of Fire <laughs> that I forgot to admit. Yeah, they put all this like effort into making this huge spectacle of the World Cup on screen. Mm -hmm. It looked awesome. And then it just shows them like flying past them up in the top box, and then it's over. Yep. Yeah. Like they they didn't do they didn't show anything. Yeah. They didn't show Crumb getting his freaking nose busted open. Uh, then show the other dude get knocked out. They didn't show the Vila and the Leprechaun fighting on the sideline. The referees dancing, <laughs> trying to impress the Vila. Like there was a lot of cool stuff, and just showing Quidditch in general, which. Brings me to my next thing before we close this out. Anybody yeah, excited? Got a squeeze in that one, though. Uh, she was kind of a bitch, though. That's true. Back uh, at the end, she was cool <laughs> of the book because they get together in the end. Um, and I hated Rhea Skeeter. Yeah, she's a bitch. She'll make another list and then one of our future pods. Yeah. So. Uh, Anybody ready for the new Quidditch game that's going to come out? No, because I'm retired. It's the new one, Bullshit. though. I'm retired. Well, you're going to unretire. Because we're, we're playing. You're pulling a Brett Favre and coming back <laughs> And then you're going to. I did that last time at his house, and I kicked his ass. Oh, you did not kick my ass. You got lucky. <laughs> it's well, not Brett Favre come out of retirement more than once. Yep. You got to do it again. But you got to do I it again. I know when to put this old man down. Nope. No, you this don't. This old man is down. Yeah, he is. Well, old man, 
You better get ready to go into the spiel. I'll We're tell you guys what. Time. Here's how it is. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> if we can get 100 subscribers to this page after this comes out, I will come out of retirement just for Quidditch World Cup. So we may not play it for about five or six years, but soon. That is up to you guys. Y'all make it happen. I, I need them. I need And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So aggressive. <laughs> Follow Watch. us on Facebook at Don't Write Back Show. Anything else? And uh, is it is it Leviosa? It's Leviosa. Oh. No, it's Leviosa. Mm. Not Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> She's the worst, honestly. So yeah, um, watch one of these videos over here. Maybe Ma even here. Or here. Ooh. That. Don't watch that one. It's scary. <laughs> Bye. Later.